Let's go over the basics of building a search for a database. Databases rely on keywords, rather than full sentences or questions, to show you the most useful articles for your research. Breaking down your question or topic into keywords is the best place to start. For example, if I was interested in how mindfulness training affects nursing student stress, I could start by using the keywords mindfulness, nursing students, and stress. I would bring those words together using AND, which tells the database to only show me results where all of those keywords appear. I would probably get some results from that search that look pretty good, but I might not be getting everything I want. I might miss articles that are engaging with my topic, but don't use those exact words. By expanding my search and adding more keywords, I can get more articles that are relevant more quickly. Let's look more closely at this example to see what I mean. First up, I have the keyword mindfulness. That's a strong, specific keyword. But in my initial search, I noticed that some articles talk about mindfulness meditation. That makes me think that some authors who maybe write only about meditation could still be relevant to me. Meditation can be another keyword. I could add that to my search like this. Mindfulness or meditation and nursing students and stress. Notice I now have both and, which brings the different keywords of my topic together, and or, which brings the similar keywords in my topic together. I always capitalize and and or in my search. It helps me see where they are, and in some databases, capitalizing these words helps them understand these are not just more keywords to search with. Now let's look at nursing students. Again, this is a great place to start. Let's say though that my first few results were about graduate nursing students, and I was really only interested in undergrads. I could change my keyword slightly to search undergraduate nursing students. There might still be a few stray graduate articles, but this will help bring the right results closer to the beginning of my search. So now my search looks like this mindfulness or meditation, and undergraduate nursing students, and stress. Finally, let's look at the last keyword, stress. Stress is a broad term that could mean a lot of different things. In this case, I may want to add similar type words to this search to make sure I get articles that cover different ways people might define stress. For example, I might notice that some articles mention anxiety or burnout, and I can add those two words to my search too. My search now looks like this, mindfulness or meditation, and undergraduate nursing students, and stress or anxiety or burnout. You'll notice I've added parentheses too. This makes sure that it keeps all of my keywords together in the right places, and that I'm not searching extra words that don't make sense. This search is a great place to start looking closely at my results and exploring the literature. As I read, I can note any additional keywords I should add to this search. Not all searches work perfectly like this one. Searching can be complicated and require advanced strategies and tools. That's what a librarian can help with. So if you try a search and it's not working or you're getting frustrated, please reach out to get some more help.